Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Dorney Park in Wild Water Kingdom in Allentown, Pennsylvania. This is one of the oldest theme parks in America, opening up in 1884. And to this day, they have some unique, amazing attractions, including the Demon Drop and Steel Force. And we're gonna hang out, eat some food, ride some rides, and have a beautiful Dorney Park kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. This is technically two parks for the price of one. We have Wild Water Kingdom on one side and then Dorney Park on the other. And it's about $70 to get in, but I'm sure you could find some deals and discounts online. You just have to look for them. This is my 20th theme park for the year 2022. I have been to 20 theme parks in a year so far and I still have over a half a year left and I think that is so crazy. I'm lucky enough that I have like 13 theme parks within an hour of me down in Florida, but it's great to be up here in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. We've already done Knobles, Hershey, uh, Six Flags Great Adventure, and now Dorney. I came here when I was younger and I haven't been back probably in at least 10 years. So I'm happy to be here today. Dorney Park is also home to Planet Snoopy, so I'm excited to see if we can find any other Peanuts characters. I'm really hoping we get to see Snoopy, but what about Charlie Brown or Linus? I think that would be amazing to see those characters just roaming around. Of course, I got Bon Bon with me here today. I wish my mom could come out, but the only park that she really likes to go to was Knobles, and she wasn't feeling good that day, so she wasn't able to come. But we'll be seeing her probably a little bit later on in other videos while I visit, you know, Pennsylvania. Just to say, you know, I miss my mom. I wanted her to come out to the parks, but she don't like it so much. No. <laughs> I'm also excited to try some good food here. They do have some iconic eats here, including Coaster's Drive-In and a couple of other spots. So we'll wait a little bit later on to that. Now I think we're gonna go ride a roller coaster. Last time I visited this park, like I said, was such a long time ago, but I remember riding Steel Force and thinking it was such an amazing coaster. So I think we're gonna start off with that ride today. Bonnie has never been here. This is her first time coming. Yeah. And like I said, there is a water park too. So we're gonna maybe ride some water rides, but I'm a little afraid because of the temperature. It is like 60s and 70 degree weather and it's very windy out. Like, so I don't know how I'm gonna hit, I don't know how I'm gonna manage. <laughs> Earlier I was talking about wanting to see the characters from Peanuts and they actually have times for all the characters that are out meeting and greeting with guests. As you can see Snoopy started off the day at 11 a.m. and then they have Lucy, Pigpen, it's 1 p.m. now and Sally is here. Look at Sally right there. You actually get up to take photos and then I think at 1.30 Pigpen's coming out. Hi Sally. <laughs> That is really awesome. I want to see Snoopy though. Snoopy, he's got to be on my list. So next time he's here at three o'clock. Three o'clock, Bon. Three o'clock. Planet Snoopy is just an area for the kids, but I think we have to cut through it to actually get to the tallest roller coaster in the park, which is Steel Force. Steel Force is really an amazing roller coaster, and it has like a Grim Reaper as a character, and I would love to see him out and about today. That would be amazing. I do have to say though, for a kid's area, I think it's really well themed over here. Look at it. It's really, really nice. They have tons of different Snoopy or Peanuts themed rides, and I like that. Happiness is pitching a strike. <laughs> As you can see from right here, we've got some very tall rides. We have Demon Drop over here, which is one of the most unique rides and probably my most excited ride. Then we've got the Dominator here and then Steel Force in the background. We have a lot to look forward to today, Bon. Yep. A lot. A You've lot. been getting a lot of roller coasters in though, right? A Some lot. things you never thought you'd be able to ride. Never. I'm so happy. <laughs> yes, it's fun. Dorney Park has a good mixture of thrill rides and roller coasters and also family friendly rides. And one of them that I'm, I'm very excited to ride is the Zephyr Railroad. Oop, I think it's coming out. Stand clear. Here comes the Zephyr Railroad as we speak. Look at this. It's like a monorail like looking train. I love it. I cannot wait to ride this. <laughs> I get so excited over the littlest rides, Bonnie. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what the heck? Look at this. That's amazing. 
Hi, have a good trip. We'll get to the family friendly rides a little bit later on. Right now, like I said, I want to head on over to Steel Force and get the heart pumping. You know, you do like the, 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 the thrilling rides to get you all excited for the day and uh, no better way than Steel Force. The name itself just gives me chills. Steel Force, look at that. I am so excited to ride this ride. It goes up pretty, pretty high there. Right here, you can see it. Look at that. The slow climb up and then the big drop. The rides here at Dorney Park, you cannot bring your camera on. So Dorney Park was uh, nice enough to supply me with some POV footage, some stock footage of the ride so I can show you guys what it's like and I always love that. And here we go, front row. I am so excited. Also, is that a haunted house down there? Look at that, it looks like a little haunted house underneath the uh, Steel Force uh, track. I mean, that would be cool. I'll have to check that out later. Such a fun ride. It was so fun. Right? At first, when you're like starting to actually take off, it kind of like teeters a little bit. Yeah. And it gets your heart like pounding. And then that first drop, you go down into that tunnel there. I loved it. And that then when fun. you're going over the rolling hills, you're really coming out of your seat. Like I was almost standing up. You yelled at you. Like, you're not standing up. up. Like you're really, it's fun. That is amazing. Bravo, Steel Force. Bravo. Look at our faces. Look at Bonnie's face right here. <laughs> Such a fun ride. As we made our way out though, I wanted to look at this and it does look like this is some kind of haunted walkthrough attraction, but it's not open at the moment. It looks like the chains are up. Maybe this is a seasonal thing, but that'd be cool to go through. I like seeing the pumpkins in there. And I, from the backside, you can see the big show building. So it must be pretty massive, pretty big in there. So far being here at Dorney Park, just for a little bit, I've really noticed how clean it is. Like, it is very beautiful here. The scenery, the walkways, you see people constantly sweeping and the trash isn't overfilled. I'm loving Dorney Park. Like, it's very, very nice. Right next to Steel Force, they have Thunderhawk. Thunderhawk. Sounds like something from Cobra Kai. And it's a wooden roller coaster. And uh, I think we're going to go ride it. I wouldn't mind. You guys know I love wooden roller coasters. They actually scare me. Thank you. <laughs> One of the things I appreciate is how they have little descriptions about some of the rides that you actually go on. Right here, this is telling you about coasters and uh, Thunderhawk. Coasters opened in 1924. That's insane. The length is uh, 2,969 feet. The height is 72 feet. 65 foot drop and it goes 45 miles per hour. And there's some rides here that are over 100 years old. This one right here is close to it. I mean, honestly, I think this is two years away. This is 98. Coasters is 98 years old. Holy moly. Now, I don't know if this is the same thing as Thunderhawk. It looks like it, and maybe they just renamed it. 
I'm almost 100% positive that this was originally called The Coaster and then they changed the name to Thunderhawk. So that means we're gonna be riding almost a 100 year old wooden roller coaster. Almost a 100 years old. Crazy, right? Okay, once we got a little bit further in the queue, then we find out that, yeah, the coaster was renamed Thunderhawk in 1989, but it has been around for 98 years. 98 years. 98 years is a long time for a roller coaster, but it's not the oldest roller coaster. It's in like the top five oldest roller coasters, I think. Uh, the oldest roller coaster is in Pennsylvania, though. It is Leap the Dips, and it's in Altoona, Pennsylvania, and that opened up in 1902. 1902! That's crazy. It's 120 years old. 120 year old roller coaster. And we are up next, front row. Are you excited, Bon Bon? Are you excited for Demon Drop behind you? Look at that. That is one of the scariest rides in existence. And we're gonna ride it today. Like, it's not what you would think it is. It is very unique, and I don't think, I don't even think there's many of them in any theme parks around the world. And here we go, front row. All clear. much fun i love that ride too it hurt a little bit though you know how wooden roller coasters actually you know toss you around a little bit now it's not the biggest and the the, the tallest wooden roller coaster but i love it i love the fact that it's 98 years old and it's still like making people smile and scream to this day <laughs> but since we're over in this general direction i think we should do the demon drop and take a look at this watch it's about to drop and it drops not in a way that you would think. That is crazy. You end up on your back. And then it has to drop you down here. It's like Tower of Terror, except for you end up on your back. Like upside down. Like, that's crazy to even think about it. And Tower of Terror is controlled. This, it's just a free fall. It's literally a free fall into a slide. I am not even kidding. I am slightly terrified for my life right now. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> oh, I'm excited but terrified. Crusher, enjoy the rest of your day at Dollywood. Oh. I hope I don't die right now. <laughs>
honestly ate my heart. Yeah, me too. <laughs> when, yeah, when we dropped, I felt my heart come up. That was so thrilling and scary, but I loved it so much at the same time. I'd definitely do it again. Like, me too. everybody's screaming whenever they do it, and wow. I don't know how much you could have saw, because I, I couldn't bring my camera on. I had to put everything away, and I set it up on the outside just to see us, like, go up in the air, but wow. And also, I set my, all my stuff in my hat and somebody spilled their soda. So now my hat is literally a bunch of Sprite. And I'm bald. Ah! Oh. <laughs> now that the demon drop business is taken care of, and let me tell you something, that was frightening. Like, so frightening. I noticed this little house over here and it said El Fundo. Al Fundo's house and someone said just wait around here for a minute and uh, you'll see something scary oh my lord is that Al Fundo coming through that door right there is that what that is wow that is awesome oh look at this that is Al Fundo I feel like I need to give you a little backstory to El Fundo here. El Fundo was actually the entrance, well he was a big gigantic clown that was at the entrance of Thunderhawk in the 1960s and 70s. At that time, clowns were very popular and he was, there was this gigantic juggling cloud in there and obviously they took him away but it was such an iconic thing that they have his own character meet and greet in front fan. of the Thunderhawk. Hello El Fundo. How are you? Are you having a good day? Yeah? I had to come over and say hi. I got very excited. I just got off Thunderhawk. Did you really? Yeah, Thunderhawk. I you saw Alfundo's Yeah, Alfundo was there because Alfundo used to be out front, right? It used to be the, the entrance way. Now it's old house. Now he's got his new house. Oh, I like it. Well, thanks, pal. Can we take a photo? Yeah? All right. <laughs> Well, that was a fun little surprise. I like Del Fundo. He is cute. He's, he's fun. There is a lot of people with a clown phobia, so I don't think they would have liked that too much. And it's funny, we just did the demon drop, and then we went to go meet a clown named Al Fundo. As we were down there meeting El Fundo, I remembered Snoopy comes out at 3 p.m., so we ran all the way back up here so we can go get Snoopy. Bonnie, are you excited? There's Snoopy. There he is. Hello, Snoopy! Oh, I love your vest! Looks very nice, very, very fancy. Are you having a good day? Yeah? I'm so excited to see you in the park. I was looking for Charlie Brown around. Have you seen him? No, not today. Oh, that's awesome. Well, can we take a photo? Yeah? Awesome. It was worth running back up here to oh, see yeah. Snoopy. Snoopy is so fun, He's but so now cool. I think we need to get something to eat. Yep. Maybe chicken and peats? Mm -hmm. A little Pennsylvania staple? Yep. Chicky and Pete's, ESPN's number one sports bar in North America. And it's home to the famous crab fries. Crab fries? Crab fries? Crab tree? Crab tree? Let's see if we can find ourselves a table in here. It looks really, really busy. The only time I've ever eaten at a Chicky and Pete's was either in Hershey Park or at the airport at the Philadelphia International Airport. So it's fun to sit down in an actual restaurant and our booth actually has an Ale Fundo neon light. So that's why I got that neon line, but like Al Fundo, but Ale Fundo. Look at that, it's Ale Fundo. I thought that was just a joke, but they actually have an El Fundo beer on draft, so I'm getting it. I'm getting the El Fundo. Here it is, Dorney Park's own El Fundo. Cheers, Bon Bon. El Fundo. El Fundo. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. It's very fun. It's very hoppy. Very hoppy ale. And here is our little feast. We've got the world famous cutlets, and these are the buffalo cutlets. Then we've got some buffalo bites. We've got a pizza burger, and of course, the crab fries. Cheers. <laughs> Comes with a little cheese dip on the side there. You like that cheese though, don't you, Bon? I do. Yeah? Good cheese. Good cheese. The reason they call them crab fries is because they used to only serve crab during certain seasons and uh, at that time the owner didn't know what to do with all the leftover spices spices so he ended up putting them on french fries and, and handing them out and people loved them they have that seasoning on there and it is like a very strong strong seasoning but they've just become legendary legendary seasoning 
Now we're gonna try some of the legendary buffalo cutlets. Oh, look at that steam piping off there. I hope they're not too spicy, but we're gonna give them a go anyway. Here we go. Mmm. They're good. Now we're gonna go from buffalo chicken cutlets to buffalo boneless bites. There we go. I'm gonna grab this one right over here. That's the stuff right there. And this is mild. Very, very mild. I'm gonna see if I like the cutlets more than the bites, but I really tend to love bites a little bit more. Mm. These are a little bit spicier. Mm. I like the cutlets. Bonbon's pointing out that you can really see the difference in the sauces there. Now we're gonna actually jump over to the pizza burger. This has got some mozzarella, some pizza sauce, a little bit of everything there. I do love me pizza burgers, so here we go. Mmm, that's a good burger. Overall, I gotta say, I really do like Chickie and Pete's. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Chickie and Pete's was very delicious. And I like just kind of sitting in there. It's really relaxed to be able to have like a sports bar in the middle of a theme park. And right next to Chickie and Pete's, they have Hydra, the Revenge. And uh, what better way to uh, digest a big meal than ride a roller coaster. <laughs> so I think we can head over to Hydra. Here it is, Hydra the Revenge. And I love the sign actually. Look, there it goes. We're about to head on in right now. I'm excited, this is bright. I like colorful roller coasters. I don't even know why. I just think it's really fun. This one's purple and green. Cut off one head, two more grow back in its place. didn't do good for my stomach after eating at Chickie and Pete's. So I think we need to maybe head back down and ride the Zephyr in a little bit of a slow ride. Also, I want to point out this, this whole park is basically built on a hill, isn't it? Like yeah. there's like hills everywhere. So it's easy to actually go down it, but climbing back up, I mean, it is, it's, I mean, it's a climb. So I highly suggest if you plan on visiting the park to do the stuff that's down at the bottom of the park first get it all done and then walk back up we made a mistake and now we're going up and down the hill up and down the hill and be still my heart i think morgan the mascot for steel force is actually out meeting people right now just out before where we saw Alfonso, I think Morgan, the Steel Force, is there, so we have to run over. And here Morgan is. Look at this. Steel Force, I love it. You actually look very nice. Thank you. <laughs> that is very awesome. Well, thank you. I love Steel Force, and uh, I like you too. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, I made you blush. Very cool. Can we do a photo? Yeah? Bonnie wanted to come and see uh, Morgan. You gotta get a photo here. That's the way, that's terrifying. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Morgan. Oh wait, one more here for you, on your own. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, pal. <laughs> see ya. Bye. My day is officially complete now that I got to meet Morgan.
That was amazing. How cool is that? What an awesome character. And here it is, the Zephyr Railroad. Hurry up, Bonnie, we got a train to catch. As we're sitting here waiting for the Zephyr to get back, Morgan's out there playing cornhole with a bunch of kids. <laughs> That's so crazy. Ooh, and I think the Zephyr's coming right now. I said the train kept a rolling all night long. Train kept a rolling all night long. Ooh, look at that. This is such a small cabin. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> we got our own little cabin here, Bonnie. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a little squeaky. Board. Oh, look at this. We're on a bridge bridge. They have a little cars ride here too. Kind of like the Tomorrowland Speedway. Hello. We're coming in and it's a little squeaky. Ooh. That was a nice little scenic stroll through the park. I liked it a lot. You got to see a lot of stuff I didn't know and it was really cool that they gave you a lot of history of the park as you were taking the train ride around they had yeah. all these different billboards like telling you like old attractions that they had they actually had a like 20,000 leagues under the sea attraction here something like that I seen I don't know what it was but I wish I could find out more information I'm gonna look around for it oh now we're gonna go play that ring toss game because I want to see if you win me a giraffe oh, I mean I don't think it's gonna happen again but what would be the chances what are the chances I don't know why I'm saying what are the chances. Wouldn't it be what are the odds? Yeah. What, what are the odds? odds? But what are the chances? All right, Bonnie. It's your time to shine again. I've got faith in you. And this actually, you get a prize automatically. Let's see what you got there, champ. She got it in her hair to this time. I don't think luck's on your side today, Bonnie. I don't know. We got quite a bit to go. You do got quite a bit to go, though. Oh, oh. Ooh, that was a close one. You almost hit the same spot again. One left. One left. Oh well, you did good. You did good, but you got a consolation prize. Well, Bonnie, your streak is broken. You're not the ring toss queen I thought you were. <laughs> but I mean, it is a challenging game though. It, like Bonnie getting that was such a crazy coincidence. Like, honestly, it still blows my mind. If you guys don't know, Bonnie won that ring toss game at Hershey Park and got a gigantic Charizard for me. Was it Hershey Park? No, it was, at, it was at Six Flags Great America. So if you guys will watch that Great video, Adventure. Great Adventure, yeah. If you guys go watch that video, she actually made it. She won. She like, she got the ring on the the bottle, and she won this gigantic Charizard for me. But today just wasn't there for us. Nope. Wasn't in our cards. Wasn't in our cards. After a little ring toss and a little fun at Wild Water Kingdom, I think it's dinner time, and we made our way back out to coasters. Coasters drive in and I'm not even too sure what they got here. I mean, I don't I don't know what they're offering, but 
We're gonna find out. Ooh. I like it. Hand breaded chicken tenders. Ooh, I'm all about that. I like this place. Looks like you can get hamburgers, cheeseburgers, country fried steak. Looks like that's a little chicken pot pie there. Some hand breaded chicken tenders, french fries, onion rings, mac and cheese, vegetables. I'm, I don't even know what that is though, but a lot of good stuff. I think we're gonna go with some hand breaded chicken tendies and uh, french fries. Oh yeah, look at that. That's the way. As we were in the coasters diving, I was able to find a picture of Alfonso actually at Thunderhawk roller coaster and right here it was. This is an actual picture from like the 1970s and that was the entrance way to get into the Thunderhawk. How funny is that? That is crazy, right? Can't go wrong with the little hand breaded chicken tendies. Yo, look at these little guys. That is a chicken tender and we're going for it. Oh yeah. The chicken tenders were really, really good, and now I'm feeling a little bit more energized, and one last big coaster to do, and that is Talon right here. Another colorful, like, roller coaster. This one looks really fun, though. It's got a nice big loop there. Kind of reminds me of Bear, the Great Bear, yeah. When I rode Hydra, that kind of reminded me exactly of the Hulk at Universal Studios. And I almost felt like I was riding the Hulk, except for it didn't have the blast off. Like it didn't have that, you know? And uh, I'm excited to see what this is gonna be like. Oh! This is gonna be just like the bear at Hershey Park, I feel like. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna see it come this way. shooken up I mean, <laughs> that one really that was just like over at Hydra any of those rides where the harness comes over your head just bounces like this and it hurts so bad and even rock and roller coaster gets to me like that but still it was a fun it was a fun ride and it's really nice being in a theme park and feeling really cool and not hot so that was great now that all the rides are done for the day we have to make our way through the gift shop Bon Bon's got to get a shirt you know what shirt you're gonna get? Yep. Yeah, all right. We're gonna head into the Emporium. The Carousel Emporium. That's the one, Bon? That's the one. That's the one. She loves her tie-dyes. Yep. <laughs> all right, grab it. And with that, I think we are done here today at Dorney. Today was like such a great day. It was one of the longest days too, because this was kind of closest to my hometown. This park, I think, was the closest, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so it didn't take us long to get down here, and uh, we got to enjoy the whole entire day. Got to go in the water park, got to ride the rides, and it was great. I love it. I love it here. It's so clean. 
the staff is so friendly. It, it really is a great theme park. And I know that there was talks of SeaWorld possibly buying uh, Cedar Fair. And if they do, I hope they keep everything the same here. Because honestly, it was amazing. It was a great time. It yeah. Was. was it? Anywho, well, that is park number 20. And we're going to keep going. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. And we ended up leaving Dorney Park and making it to Epcot. And look, Sean's You're here. Epcot. You're in Epcot. What are we doing here? We're just, you know, get some food, get some drinks. You know exactly, bingo. Bingo? You know, the original Epcot does not have bingo, that's for sure. Yep, but Walt would have liked it. <laughs> I'm only kidding. We're not actually in Epcot. We're at the St. Joe's Festival here near Allentown. My buddy Sean grew up here. We all grew up in Pennsylvania. And I just swung over to have some food and hang out for a bit. Look at this. They're cooking up the steaks back there. That's the good stuff, Sean. This is the good food. Look at that. Thank you so much. Wait, let me see that steak and cheese here. Nice classic Lehigh Valley cheesesteak. Oh, look at that. A Lehigh Valley cheesesteak's different from the Philly cheesesteak. Oh, big difference. difference. Big the difference. The way they cut their meat, the different cheeses they use, it's a huge difference. Well, I'm gonna get a sausage from uh, Galipsby here. The sausage, well, the sausage sandwich here is the chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Get it to go container. That's how it's done. No, I don't need it to go container. We'll hold it and we can eat out of it. Oh, I'm gonna eat that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is the way. <laughs> bon Bon's getting some of the pierogies. Look at this. This is the stuff right here. Oh, yeah. I'm sad. They used to, before the pandemic, they used to have fried pierogies there. Now they don't. Oh, pandemic took the fried pierogies away from us. But these ones look good, though. Look at those. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. <laughs> All right. We got our food and made our way over to the bingo hall. Sean, you're in the golden hour right now. It is. Look at the sun right now. I know. Beautiful it's beautiful. In the valley. <laughs> I'm going to eat a sausage sandwich with the sun hitting me right here. Look at this. Look at that. What is that? Cheese steak. A cheese steak? That's a sausage sandwich. Sausage sandwich? They That's what I'm on. They are good. Good Lehigh Valley cheese steak, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is seriously one of the best sausage sandwiches I ever had. And it's all about that sauce. Like, oh man. I just had some good sausage and pepper soup that was phenomenal. But I love it. Now I'm holding a $20 bill up in the air. <laughs> Look at me. Any takers? Takers, cash. <laughs> okay, now we're going to call it a night. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.